The next question, the member for Key Wetanong. Good morning, uh, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Premier. North Spirit Lake First Nation, also known as Memegwesi Uzaiganing, is in a state of emergency. The community has been devastated by a breakdown of it in its most important infrastructure. They have suffered over the past two years intermittently without essential services such as power and running water. Their sewage system uh, repeatedly backs up into the community to uh, due to faulty pipes and, uh, and, and pumps. Mr. Speaker, this is Ontario. It is 2019. Yes. Will this government continue to stand by and use the excuse of jurisdiction to avoid stepping forward and helping North Spirit Lake? The question is addressed to the Premier. Minister of Indigenous Affairs. Referred to the Minister of Indigenous Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to, I want to thank the member opposite uh, for his question. The short answer is we haven't, uh, and no, we won't, Mr. Speaker. At every turn, uh, we have clearly understood some of the structural and long-term, uh, long-standing issues that uh, some of the isolated and remote First Nations communities uh, are facing, Mr. Speaker, and we work in lockstep with them on ensuring they don't come to a crisis situation. In the case of North Spirit Lake, uh, Mr. Speaker, a series of unfortunate events happened in a very short period of time and the community was unable to mobilize and respond to them. That's why we worked effectively with NAN. I spoke with Grand Chief Alvin Fiddler last week. We offered our full support. It was a coordinated effort through the Provincial Emergency Operations Centre and the, and the um, uh, Indigenous Services uh, Canada, Mr. Speaker. We mobilized uh, to lead the response on water system issues, public safety, and the health needs of the community, and response. we remain committed to working with them on a day-to-day -day basis, Mr. Speaker, as they work through this difficulty. Thank you. And the supplementary question. Um, North Spirit Lake doesn't need just phone calls or calls. Exactly. They need actual emergency support. Two weeks ago, I was in North Spirit Lake. The community spoke to me about the social breakdown that occurs when you don't have the basic human needs. Teachers and nurses have been forced to leave the community because lack of uh, basic services needed in the facilities to do their work, to do their jobs. They are experiencing an addiction epidemic and they need help. The children are experiencing trauma as a result of this and they need help. They have said to me, just because they, they are small, it's not the right to be ignored and be neg neglected by governments. Will this government be part of the solution to help North Spirit Lake, yes or no? Minister of Indigenous Affairs. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and the answer is yes, and we have been, Mr. Speaker. I had an opportunity serving that region as the Member of Parliament. That was not a small community to me, it was an important community, and that's why we built a brand new school in North Spirit Lake at the time, Mr. Speaker. We recognized the importance of putting that asset in there in that community so the children uh, had a better place and a better space uh, to go to school. We are in the midst of an acute crisis, Mr. Speaker, and that's unfortunate. That's why we've provided funding, support, and I have pledged, beyond phone calls, Mr. Speaker, to send mental health, uh, me mental wellness teams uh, to cover the crisis and surge response to the community, like basic needs for the children and families and travel costs for NAN crisis workers, Mr. Speaker. I'm looking forward to continuing to work with Anishinaabe Aski Nation, in particular, Mr. Speaker, Indigenous Services Canada, to ensure Response. that we work through the acute crisis that's there in North Spirit Lake and find solutions for some of the long-standing challenges that they have uh, faced in the past. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs>